Hey guys, so today I'm gonna try to do as quick as possible, as quick as possible <laughs> review about a series. If you guys remember, I did something like, uh, similar like this for the um, Perfect Chemistry trilogy. I'll leave the link below for you guys. And I thought it is good because I'm trying to tell you pretty much the plot from this series and why I think you should guys read it, and then I'll try to break it down in a different video. So without further ado, this will be about the Lux series by Jennifer L. Armstrong. I have the first bind up which contains the Obsidian and the Annex. Uh, it is one of the series, I think it's the second one actually, is all the series that I've read and books that I've read, that actually did a marathon. The first one, uh, my best friend gave it to me, I believe in 2007, 2007-2008, uh, I read it. Um, it was a Morgan View Vampire series and it was a bind up. It contained three books in one, uh, Omnibus, and it was about 1,200 pages, something like that, and I read it in pretty much 36 hours. The way that I read when something like this happens, I have an armchair and I sit, like, it's pretty comfortable. You can actually sleep in it. It's not that it's reclined or, or like you cannot lie down, but you can sit like sit down pretty comfortable and you can actually have like a power nap. So that's pretty much what I do when it is this kind of like, in this kind of series or book for me, that's so important that I go and uh, sit in that chair, uh, armchair, and I uh, read. So in case I do fall asleep, I have all the time, every page it has their um, bookmark. So if I f do fall asleep and the book uh, gets closed, it falls into my lap and the car, uh, the bookmark will be there and I'll like sleep for like a baby like an hour or two and then when I wake up I continue reading. That's pretty much what I do. Uh, so this one I started reading on June 30th and I finished uh, on um, Monday to Tuesday which was July 5th, like 2 a.m. or 3 a.m. something like that. There's five uh, books in the whole series and pretty much the whole series is between 300 pages to 500, something like that. Each book you contains like that. It's just a truly amazing book. It is about uh, aliens and how they uh, got to work, why did they got there, and how do they deal with all the changes. So the, um, the battle or the war has started between these two aliens like thousand and thousand years ago uh, between Arms and uh, Laxans. And of course, the, during this battle, they destroyed the planet, so they tried to find a planet where to live, and they got to the Earth. Um, Earth are the shades, like they all, all like better, they fight better on night, and Laxon, they fight, like they're all the light ones, they fight during the day. Uh, both uh, Aram and Laxon, they are, uh, they look like humans, but when they have to fight to defend or whatever, the reason there's like a long story about it the laxon they look like um, they have the body shape it is just a human but they only look like pretty much the sun I'll take Katie's uh, which is one of the most important characters for the book uh, she has a quote in there saying that uh, to demon uh, that you are my own personal son pretty much that's what it is because they emit lots of like heat and lots of light uh, the, I love their powers and also the arm um, they go at night, how I said, they look uh, like a shade, like uh, pretty much like darkness overloads you, like it's terrifying. I prefer to be like killed by a Luxon than by a freaking arm um, because I'll be like terrified. I'm afraid of dark people, okay? So it doesn't matter how old you are, if you're afraid of dark, you're afraid of dark and that's it. <laughs> like your own shade eats you. So that's pretty much how I see it. Um, yeah, so uh, the whole uh, plot start, uh, runs around Kitty and Demon. One of them is human, one of them is an uh, alien. And uh, they start from, since the moment that Kitty moves into the small town because uh, she and her mom is trying to go over the death of her father which uh, they want to like get a new life, a new perspective on life because they want to cope better, right? And keep going with like their own like life. Um, but since she moved, uh, Demon finds like a certain like, he cannot control himself like to, I don't know why, but while I was reading this, I was feeling like uh, from 
like I was feeling from the point of demon I was like why does it feel like I'm reading right now through Edward's eyes from Twilight it's no like even close as like you know like uh, vampires or anything like that but like that kind of pull it made me think of like wait I've read something like that so yeah uh, because he says he uh, this one has bonus uh, features but goes from the pole points of view and it says uh, the main um, um, main events in the book they are uh, like put from both points of view and uh, so you can see from different perspective and he goes from him saying like what is going on with me I never been like this and I find any excuse to be around her so um, she I, I like Katie a lot because she's like a strong will and she's like if she wants something doesn't matter whoever it's against it if she loves that person or if she cares about that person like um, how it is um, Dima's uh, twin sister, D. she becomes very good friends with her, she tells even Dima, like, listen, I don't care, I'll be there for her no matter what, I don't care what you want and what do you think, uh, deal with her, because she wants me to be with her, I'll be with her. I will, uh, so even when she finds out the whole truth, she still is like, you know what, I know that it puts my life in danger. I know you told me this and maybe it's better for me and all of that. I should have done that, but I stay there for my friends and I stay there for the people that I love and I'll try to help them as much as I can, even I'm just a human. And uh, this whole series like it goes back and forth. The adventure is amazing. The way that, uh, I don't know why I have not read another, a different book, like, I think this is the first time I read a book about Jennifer and Lamshang, and I've read so many good things about her, I don't think it's a book there that anyone says something bad, so I should definitely go into it, although I have probably all the books now on the ebook now, on my Kindle, um, yeah, so I uh, truly loved it, uh, since the moment that I started reading this book, I read how I said the uh, marathon to the whole fifth books, they're amazing, the adventure is just amazing, and um, the love that a, the connection, let's call it like that, that he starts building between Katie and uh, Demon from the moment that they start, but they deny it for like the whole, I think the first freaking like book is like a denial, and she's like, oh yeah, I have a connection, or maybe they will kiss or something, and you'll be like, cool, cool, they start dating that, and he, um, yeah, so they're pretty much like that, you know, they, they make you think, like, you know they want each other, but they're like, no, I don't want, it. you know, like that kind of person, no, I don't like her, I don't, like, what are you talking to me, like, you can say whatever you want, I don't like her, I just want to, like, help her, and sh she from there, like, no, I don't want him, I'll even prove it, like, try to go out with somebody else, I'm like, what, like, even she agrees at some point in her mind, she's like, I think I'm going out with this guy because I just want to see how they might react and I'm like yeah that's not like you know liking him or anything like that it's just like yeah this uh, series has like romance how I said amazing adventure and the plot is just well written and uh, the events that do happen in there even you don't agree with certain things and uh, unfortunately in like the movies or like any book it has some turns out that you may not agree with it or a certain death of the character that again you don't agree with it it's this book this series and the books they're so well written that you'll be like okay i don't like it but it's okay what's going on next yeah he died oh my god you remind me about him and even 10 pages or 10 chapters later every time you read about that character i'm like so sad but you still continue because you do you are heartbroken about that certain thing like you still want to know what's going on all till the end so this amazing like the the whole first like book it's um going like back and forth uh katie finding out what's going on and um all the truth about a uh, demon and all like this uh Luxon and aram and uh, who they are and things like that and by the end they find out more things that they uh, even demon didn't know even in the same time you try to cope with whatever had happened um, 
in the book but you still go through it, you, like, you have to understand, this is truly amazing, like, he has the fifth way in it, he has powers in it, people, he has, uh, and from what I heard, it's uh, kind of like the type of, like, a Santa Claire um, style, like, she has series that they're connected with the mortal instruments and with the, the infernal devices and things like that but like this one has it so probably a hobby like starting like to read like titan one uh, series and like again go marathon to it but it's like you know like in your mind place like that what if they go together and then you like like it actually happens and you're sad and you like the moment that you get to the last book is just Amazing! You you've been through a roller coaster full of emotions and like adventures that there you don't want to. You know that roller coaster that you go into it. You're afraid to go into it, but the moment that you start going to it, you're like, oh my god, this is amazing! Oh my god, you have like some. I'm afraid. I'm this. I'm that. And then when he's up, like he's done. No, I want to go again. You know that kind of book, like literally that kind of series is just truly amazing. Um, that was my feelings through this. Um, if you have read the whole series, if you have read only one book, if you have read also the title, let me know. Is it really connected to this one? Uh, like, I mean, like the Laxon, would it be any demon in there? Or, you know, like, you know, my husband has to be in the book if I want to read it. And yeah, I heard that that one is going to be about like uh, God's uh, Greek mythology and Laxon in there. So I'm like, that would be cool. That will definitely be cool because I do, uh, like, while I finished the last uh, book, I was, like, imagining, I'm like, it cannot really happen like this. I have a feeling that something will do, like, it will happen. Like, it cannot be like, oh, this. And you're like, mm. uh, you can finish there. You can definitely finish there because lots of books to finish. But you still, like, I like, I don't know. It looks like it might be something else. It's still room that you can actually, you know, put it in. It's just, truly, I, I loved it. Uh, I don't know what you guys thought about it. Um, if you have read the whole thing, if you have a series that maybe you have felt something similar, and um, don't forget to subscribe, and bye-bye.